One of the problems that we're having with this Apple II Plus, besides the bad ROM, uh, is the video level. Uh, I've had to turn this monitor contrast and brightness all the way up. And if I leave those at the center detent, this is what we get. Almost unreadable. If I turn the contrast all the way up, it's much better. So I'm looking at the video level with the oscilloscope here. Uh, now you may notice this reject sticker. That's the only reason I have this oscilloscope because I got it at a bargain. It wouldn't calibrate. But that aside, I have checked and the levels are close enough. Our uh, volts per division here is set to 0.1, so our video level is only about 200 millivolts. That's pretty low. The signal should be around 2 volts. Another test that I can do is to check the output of the 74LS74 that generates the video signal. On the output of the 74LS74 on pin 5, right here, we can see at 1 volt per division we've got 3.5 volts, exactly what it should be. But putting the probe back on the composite video output at the auxiliary video connector, we're getting uh, a half a volt per division, 200 millivolts per division, 100 millivolts per division. We're only getting about two divisions, so that's way lower than it should be. I suspect that the transistor Q3 has gone bad, so I'm going to attempt to replace it. Oh, look at that. One of the legs on that transistor just clean broke off. I didn't do anything but desolder those legs. That, that leg must have been broken to begin with. So go ahead and pop this in. Shouldn't take but a moment. We'll be able to see if this solves the video output problem. Placement Q3. So let's see if this makes any difference in the video output level. Holy cow, what a difference. Much better. Let me turn that contrast down a bit. Turn the brightness down. Contrast and brightness are back down to detent positions. And let me grab a little screwdriver here. Maybe even turn down this gain setting right here. That's more like it. Now it looks perfectly normal. With the gain turned all the way up here, and at half a volt per division, we're looking at a one volt peak to peak signal, which I believe is pretty standard for NTSC. I turn the gain down to a 
somewhat normal level looking at 750 millivolts. It looks pretty good to me.